Hey everybody, welcome to the next commentary. Today we are playing some Skarner top lane versus a Rumble. Uh, Skarner being one of the most common top lane picks, he seems to be one of the most broken ones. Uh, I, I feel like Rumble might be able to contest his uh, strength though. I just feel like Skarner's not as good versus AP champs, especially if the AP champs are Shredders. So we'll see how it goes. I don't even know what I want to go for his item against somebody like this. I guess I could go for uh, the Sunfire Magic Damage one. Forgot what it's called. But that could give me uh, some power, I suppose. Skarn is a little bit different since the last time that I played him. I was playing him when it was W Max, and now it's Q Max. We'll sort of rocket him. So your your Q, you pick up a rock. Your three auto attacks are empowered. That's your main damage source. Your W is a slow, plus you shield yourself, so that's pretty nice. And then your E is your drive, and you can drive people into walls and stuff and stun them if you do land uh, them into walls. So I guess I should never use my W until he uses his ability. Otherwise, it's a waste. What I can do is just let him try to poke me, and then once he starts poking, then pop my W. Otherwise, I should just last it with auto attacks. We also have a three-hit auto attack passive where we get magic damage on people. So far, this seems kind of easy to play against. The reason also it seems easy is because this guy is not ever getting his uh, heat up. Rumble kind of gets massively stronger when he has his heat somewhat in the middle, and this guy just won't even, like, charge it. So then I feel less threatened of an all-in. He could totally probably do some crazy stuff. If... Like that. See, it's a little bit better now. He brought his heat a little bit higher. Grass proc. <clears throat> this is going okay. If only he was gankable. Right now, there's a big fight going on right now, so uh, nobody's going to be rotating for a gank anytime soon. This is a gigantic wave. I should just last it under turret. There's probably no way that I can fight him with ignite. I know that he's kind of low, but I'm CSing much better than him, though, so that is an advantage for sure. Twenty-nine to uh, twenty-three, so I'm up basically an entire wave. Plus, what you can do because I have TP advantage is try to uh, get a wave going. That'd be sick. The thing is that I'm just so damn low. I guess I'll try to last at that. There. That's all I can do. So we'll try to base here. I'll buy like a tier of the goddess. He should base too. This wave was slow pushing towards him. He could have based here and uh, honestly really ruined my day. But for some reason he decided to stay. I am okay with that because that's a mistake that maybe it's punishable. The way that it would get messed up now is if I get ganked by Jarvan. So, that's really the only dilemma now. Much healthier than him. He has no pots left. I have uh, refillable pots as well. He might just wait for uh, level 6 and then just all in the wave, I guess. It seems kind of difficult for me to dive this guy. I really wanted to uh, get my demolish proc off. What? I'm just going to bring him to uh, my Talia. He should just die here. Yeah. 
He like was just running straight at me, so I just ultied him and brought him straight to uh, my jungler who is already inside a tri brush for a free gank. And he used his ultimate too. I think that with his ultimate, that's like one of the risks of dying to him. And now that he doesn't have it, it might be a little bit easier. I also ulted him because he had a uh, his overheat going. When he becomes red, his auto attack speed increases, and every single auto attack deals bonus magic percent damage. So he completely destroys you very quickly. So I wanted that off, like. I wanted him to not be able to auto-attack me, so I ultied to keep him in place. Because that hurts so damn bad. Merc tread way first. <laughs> we are quite AP heavy, I guess. Talia wants to come back top. Even though I went behind him, I think that he doesn't live here, right? He doesn't have phase rush. Yeah. If he had phase rush, maybe he could have escaped. I don't know. I still put myself behind him, though, so the slows are kind of deadly. Using my rock on the turret for a little bit of bonus damage. Now we'll just try to uh quickly make it so I can get even more off. So that has been done. Let's just use my W to hit him for a tier stack. Now just because it's been going well doesn't mean it's always going to be easy. I don't really know if I'm strong enough to fight him still. I guess his, I mean, his overheat is not even close. That is a pretty gigantic thing for him. So maybe I can uh, still fight pretty aggressively. It's a big trade. I'll just bring him back here. I think I might be able to beat him. One, two, three? He's burning. Seven HP, 11 HP. He went down to 11 there. That's crazy. If I get ganked, I'll just E through the wall away. I swear I can't die. Or I'll just E onto him. That works too. Oh, my rock didn't hit. I don't think it would have killed him, though, anyway, so whatever. Good attempt. We almost killed Rumble. We have a gigantic CS lead of 30. Uh, bot lane died to Zeri. That's kind of scary. Recently, I've seen so many Zeris uh, pop off and kind of 1v9. They seem Zeri seems like a really good champion right now. I've lost games that I shouldn't have lost just because the Zeri gets like one good team fight and she just wipes the entire team. Fizz is fed, but it's not because he's like destroying Hoy. It seems that Jarvan's just been dying. All right, so now that I built Magic Resist, I should just beat this guy. Beforehand, when you, I was like, uh, I don't know if I could beat this guy, was because I only had a Bomby Cinder and I didn't have Magic Resist yet. Now that I have MR, I'm I'm chilling. Is she gonna wall here? Are you walling? Okay. Very nice gank, again. Thank you. Let's just uh, try to hit top here. We already have three grubs too, and she's about to get six, so I might be able to take full top turret before uh, 14 minutes for the full plates. That's gonna make me a really big menace inside of team fights. Because I'm gonna have way more gold than everybody else if I can get this turret. There's a Jarvan. It's 
quite weak though. There's no way that Leo would ever lose that guy. I really want to help out Balling. It'd be sick if I could get off like a TP soon. Because it looks like they're fighting really hard. And my Seraphine's also dying. I'm just going to TP down. Seems okay. I'm going to pick up a rock before using my E. Try to get her flash first, and then I'll uh, ulti afterwards just to get her. I know that the other person maybe was more important, but I didn't know if she had flash. Only one of them burned it, so... Dang, I missed. He's low. That guy almost killed me, but I managed to kind of beat him a little bit because he went really deep. Nice, and he died for it. <laughs> Taking my lead and trying to extend it to others to make it so it's easier for them. Our bot lane was losing pretty hard, so not bad, man. We're going to go Winter's Approach. Winter's Approach will give us... Uh... Wait, let me think about what I want to buy. I think I want to go Mertreads, honestly. Will give us a shield, not on only crowd control. Your Fimble Winter, which is the uh, tier tank item, also gives you a shield when you slow people if you're melee, which I am. So my W and my Q, both the slow effects, not the CC shield. And it's on a low enough CD that basically you will always be proccing it permanently, so it's really broken. Because, uh... I will just always be shielding myself, so I'll always be getting... Or slowing people, so I'll always be getting the shields busted. What the hell? Hello. I almost was able to kill one. I'm not even worth a shutdown, so it's not even that bad of a death. I almost was... Trading one for one if you get ganked like that is quite good. I just can't land my E, dude. I can't believe that I'm so bad at uh, driving. Ooh, Fizz died too. I mean, he wasn't worth a shutdown either. So... Whatever. That is A-OK -okay with me. We will just go back top and pressure again. I don't want to die, but it's not bad to sometimes, but it's kind of luck based. If I'm 2v1, that means that my jungler is probably on the map doing something of her own. Hopefully. If she isn't, then yeah, it's, it's a pretty bad death. But in our case, it enabled her to go bot lane with no counter gank because if I was top lane versus Rumble and I go for Rumble and I uh, am not versus Jarvan and Jarvan went bot, then I, I win. So like, I'm trying to set up a scenario where like, I, oh. Can I go through Rift Herald here? Is my team able to get to him? I got both of them. I don't know if that matters or not, but I was not trying to get Huey onto all of you. I brought Huey to my entire team, but I also brought Huey himself too, so... Good thing I have so much MR that it, it, he doesn't really deal that much to me. How much do I need? Oh, I have my Thimble Winter now. I'll probably just wait to get this next wave though. If he steps up, I might be able to kill because I'm quite tanky versus uh, magic damage. It'd be really sick if he stepped up. I could knock him into this wall. Looks like uh, he's not going to though, so we'll just shove out instead.
Biz is trying to pressure. Almost done with my Winter's Approach item. I need to fully stack the tier completely to the 360, so that is the next goal for myself. Nice, I don't have a TP ward to help you. So I think you're just dead. <clears throat> Dragon's coming up pretty soon. Rumble reset his gold, which is a uh, nice. See, this person's gonna jump over the wall. That's why I didn't ulti. I'm pretty sure if I tried ulting, it would have not worked. So, okay, got all that. Dang, he flashed when I pressed my R. Your R has a pretty long delay, so unlucky. Getting his flash isn't bad, though. <laughs> wow, is Huey really going to try to contest this? I might be able to catch him. I think he just used his ability. Oh, it was a freaking blast cone. He's still so f deep, though. Yeah, he's actually so screwed. There's no way you can escape now. That slows him. Now Fizz just slows him down as well, and then he's just dead. He went for bot wave when uh, we were already on dragon. He also saw me chasing him. After he used the blast cone, he should have kept running. I don't know why he uh, thought that he would just... I wouldn't continue chasing. Your safety net is almost always your turrets or your team, and clearly his team isn't around, and this turret's dead, so he really doesn't have any way of doing anything. I want to help out with uh, that. Can we have, like, a TP'd angle? Nobody has any wards. This sucks. I'm just going to TP here, I guess. Just bring them to my team. Blast Coner into my team. Whenever I have my ultimate, I kind of just want to use it ASAP. Because I'm so tanky to the point that I can get away with doing really stupid plays that aren't really too smart. If my teammates are just nearby, because I, I can't die. I'm too, too strong. Like right here, I'm trying to bring this guy towards my team again. And as you can see, I, I took a little bit of turret damage and stuff, but it doesn't even matter. Seraphine also is shielding my entire team very easily. Continue the advantage, guys. <laughs> I don't want to be versus these guys for an extended period. Okay, I will try to defend you. Slow that guy. I'm okay with being the tank versus, uh... Oh. Him. I'm just gonna run. Using my E. Are uh, the Jinxes really gonna live? They might try to do Baron, huh? I wonder if I can base to heal. If they continue chasing Jinx, she might die and then they try to Baron. And if I can find enough time to rotate all the way back, that would be really nice. I'm coming, dude. It's gonna take them a while to do Baron. I don't think that they do it that quickly. Oh, Fizz is jumping in so early. My next E is not on. I'm just gonna go in. I just need to go in and land an ultimate. Aaliyah didn't take that thing. I was kind of setting up for her. Oh, well, I can tank forever still. Knock that guy into a wall. Pick up another rock. Just throw the rocks at her. Auto attacking. What? Okay, Hoy's in the... Thing. It was kind of like a desperation Baron, because they know that the only way that they can win the game is that they get this Baron after 
killing some important people, but thankfully for us, we can just jump into the fight because we're a tank. And we won't die very easily, and we also stall a lot of time where they're getting shredded by Baron and stuff like that, so... God, I just got so much gold there. And we get the Baron. This should kind of be GG at this point. We'll see if they uh, try to play it out. It's going to be really hard for them to continue to uh, find angles to come back. It's not easy. Um, next item. I still think that Rumble's not really an issue. So. Let's go. An Iceborne Gauntlet. This will just give me a bit more sheen damage. That sounds kind of nice. I don't want magic resist. I don't care. The Hoy is so damn weak. He's like building Banshees next, so he'll he'll literally have zero damage. If you go Merc Treads plus Banshees with only Blackfire Torch, you're you're gonna be only tickling the people who uh built MR themselves like me. I guess I can go top. My team's kind of doing the dragon, so it's probably not the best idea for me to uh, be trying to like 1v5. The Hoi might rotate up. We did see him coming. Yeah, there he is, so. If I just slow him once, I think he's screwed. Oh, okay. Hey. You know what? I'll flash this. I can fight for such a long time. I'm not weak. I honestly think I might have been able to win that on my own, which is pretty disgusting, but that's just Skarner right now. Your W shield CD and everything is just so short. He'll probably die to me. <clears throat> they were all grouped up, so my rocks uh, have AoE whenever I auto attack. So I was landing this Threads of Vibration, which deals 10% of their max HP over four seconds. And uh, I'm just keeping that, like constantly ticking on them. So it's like 2% of their max HP every second. Like that's how the ticks work kind of, just think of it that way, or 2.5. And then I'm also throwing rocks on their head because my rock CD starts when you first cast it, so. We'll just uh, stop the Jarvan from killing my teammate. Or rock at him. And yeah, Skarner, super easy to play. Pretty simple champion and has incredible power because you build full tank and you can still kill people so damn easily. The Huey had no chance of ever beating me 1v1. And even when he has three people with me, I still don't even feel that threatened. The, the biggest threat was the Jarvan, I guess. So I'm going to give it to Talia because she helped me out a lot. We'll try to do another Skarner game. I'm trying to go through the list of every single possible top lane pick that exists. I did more damage than anybody else's full tank. That's so gross. That is really disgusting. Mitigated damage, also the highest, which is like uh, being tanky. Damage taken highest. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will have another Skarner game if you want to see another one. So get ready. Hey, guys. Welcome to game two uh, of the Skarner top. Playing versus a Rise this time. Oh. Oh, cool. We have Sweeper. That's sick. That's free EXP for us. We can reach level 2 on first wave, but we are playing versus a Rise. And Rise, probably... Is, is he sitting in this brush? Probably, right? He's going to auto-attack me a couple times? Hell yeah, you are. Why wouldn't you? Can't land a rock on you either. You're too fast with your phase rush. We do have Doran Shield, though, so we can take that damage and just, just tank it. Damn, I almost got that one, too. Is there a way that, honestly, I can win if I just get level 2 before him? No, there's no way to get on top of him. I could have done E second, but I just don't think that's worth. I mean, I hit him with my E anyway, so it did good damage. Hit him with the rock. Use my W to shield myself. I also got the minion, and it hit him. 
This isn't going that bad. I somehow got that caster minion because of my AoE. <laughs> your AoE of your auto attacks is only like 15 damage, so it's it's actually like pretty difficult to uh Oh. Oh, that's awkward. That's just me being bad at driving rather than uh him out playing me though. I just did that poorly. I probably could have gotten him. There was one thing I was looking at, which is uh does any champion you're facing, if you're playing Skarner, have anything to stop your drive? And he does. He has his W and he used it on the wave, so. Dang, man, he stopped my drive. You got me. I think I might be able to live. Yeah. If I just flash away. If he tries to face check that brush, I would kill him with my rock. That's okay. I didn't think that the early game would be that easy anyways. And also, I could have won that if I played it better. So I'm okay with taking a uh, risk that maybe could have paid off if I just played it better. The thing is that I, I did get snared. And I feel like if I didn't use my E immediately and just let him snare me. I could have maybe stunned him against the wall and gotten him. Why are you staying though? Oh, because you still had enough mana. If he didn't have enough mana there, he was probably dead. So a little tragic, but it is what it is. Probably should just build the same item as last game, I guess. I think it sounds pretty good. Throw a rock at him. Rise will always try to harass you through the minion wave because he spreads his uh, his Q damage using his E. So I'm trying to not always get hit by that. <laughs> you might get hit by it a couple times because you have to CS as a melee character. But I'm really trying to respect it. Because getting poked down by Ryze is pretty bad for a melee character like me. <clears throat> I need to find an angle to all in. Where I can uh, get big damage off. I, I should be able to win all ins. But I can't win extended trades. Especially if it's from him poking me all the time. I might already be too low that if I try to all-in him, maybe he can chase me out afterwards. That'd be pretty bad. This is, like, not a good fight, dude. You might just be dead. You even We even have, like, a Cassidy in too. Yeah, you're just dead. There's no way to help that guy. You just should have never been up that far. We have to be super patient this game. We have a uh, Cassid in mid versus Yasuo. That is not a matchup that will ever win. Or shouldn't win. But he'll outscale. I, I promise that. Ow, dude. I think I win this. Oh. That is really sad. The perfect timing Sedge Gank. Otherwise, I probably would have been able to 1v1 him. Bummer. What can you do? Not really anything about it. Close. Very close. <coughs> I would argue, unfortunately, that whole entire thing also stems from why was Sejuani here? Right? We already knew she was here. She was taking the camps. Why was Sejuani taking the camps? Because Trundle invaded when we have two losing early game lanes. Me plus uh, the Cassidan. So that combined got him killed, which then got me killed. You can even say that. I could. That being said, I could have maybe adjusted my gameplay and not went for the rise. And been, like, more respectful of the Sejuani. But, I mean, I was one auto attack from killing him. So that was really calling it close. 
But that's why things suck really bad sometimes, because uh, you can sometimes get into these scenarios where... Like, I didn't... I don't think that I necessarily played it incorrectly, it just sucks that Sejuani was in our jungle when she shouldn't have been. I bet Sejuani would have never been in our jungle if Trundle never died. That would have been very nice if she uh, was just in her jungle, so if she ganked me, she would have been later. Man, that's so frustrating. How are you going to snare me that fast? Whatever. I mean, he has no flash. If Trundle does want to gank him, I'm sure that we can get him pretty easily. He just puts pillar behind him. I ram him into the pillar. But it looks like he just doesn't care. Which sucks, because look at this guy. Look how far up he is. This is ridiculous. He also just used his E. Yo, Kasdan. Will you be my shining light? To abuse the fact that this guy has no thing. It's fine, he'll die. Trundle pinged, by the way. It's so funny. I don't know if Trundle's even farming his camps at this point. He might just be perma-watching top lane. Oh, dude, I feel like I can kill him if I just land my E into the wall. Can I? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, maybe this is actually too ballsy, but now I'm just, like, stuck behind him, which sucks. I'm gonna throw a rock at him. Use my W. Ram him into the wall. And he's dead. Okay, so I had a plan in mind because I was behind him, which is what I did is I pick up a rock. Your rock CD starts when you first cast it. Wait until it almost expires. Throw the rock, then slow him. Now he realizes that I'm here. Stay inside of the brush because we don't want him to snare us. Wait for to see how he reacts. Either he runs away, which he'll probably just run away. But he saw that I'm low and I'm killable. So most likely he's going to try to kill me himself. Do you have flash? Okay. So, uh, he might walk near me, so I'll flash and eat him into the wall and then use my other rock to finish. So, that was the plan going into it in my head. And then just the, the matter was execution and seeing if it was, if it was successful. So, I'm always thinking about how should I do the fight? This guy needs to snare me, please. Yeah, you're actually just going to snare me here, right? So there's no reason for me to use my E. I'll just cancel it early, honestly. I'm getting to the point where I definitely can beat this guy now if I just hit him in into a wall. But he should never let me do that, though. Hold his run away. His snare CD is pretty damn short, so I don't think I can easily get him. Yeah, it's too hard. Man, is Rise like a Skarner counterpick or something? Because this interaction is so difficult to go against. It's crazy. His Seraphs is down. He has flash advantage, though, which is the problem. If I could hit him, he dies. But he should be able to dodge anything I throw at him. Yeah, yeah, just finish that first. I'm not going to ping you that you should do it. I'm just making sure that he's aware how low this guy is. That's all I want him to see. That he's low. I'm just going to ulti just to see. Because he's going to use his damn thing. Oh man, he actually might be gone. Yeah, he is. If Trundle pressed R, he dies. Blames me for it. No problem, bro. I'll take full responsibility for every single mistake that has ever happened since the history of mankind, mankind has started. Look at that. He's still here. I don't know, man. Literally one. I 
I can't let him stop me. Otherwise, he'll kill me. There you go. The wave is gone. It's all up to you now. You messed up. But you're still going to kill me. Finally, he's here. Nice. Good, good stuff, Mr. Trundle. Very impressive gameplay. When I get Merc Treads, it will probably solve a lot of these issues, but I really wanted to get my Hollow Radiance ASAP. I almost was able to outplay. It was so damn close, man. It was so damn close. Bot lane's kind of losing. Mid lane means time to scale. Okay, Jin. <laughs> Why? Why does Jin need to announce that he muted him? All right. This guy has level one boost just like me. Still pretty slow champion. Probably I am too slow to catch him still though. Throw a rock at him, I guess. Throw a rock. Throw another rock. Dodge's ability. That is incredible for us. He put a board over the wall. Wait, can we can we fight mid? Nah. There's no way. Oh wait, Kassin's coming in, dude, but Trundle's not here. He's doing red buff right now. Seems kind of uh not good. Got Sedge. I did, wanted to go for Sedge because I feel like we were gonna win anyway, so. But maybe I'm wrong. Sedge flashed away. Rise missed his ability, otherwise, he might have been able to kill. Thank God. Chunking the hell out of this guy, but I don't think I can get on top of him. Plus, he still has his Seraph shield, too. So, Jin has ult, I guess. Oh, but he's gonna get phase rush from my teammate. Oh, nice. Jin, Jin fourth shot was huge there. Throw a rock at this guy. Nice. Big plays. And that's all because I just collapsed mid. Because uh, the enemy team was kind of extending really hard to get that. Can we actually get this? No way, right? I'm gonna use my E and try to run. I would get kited really hard by Ash if uh, I don't use my E. But my E is a fixed speed, so you can't slow me down. I'll help with this guy, I guess, even though Sedge is a problem. Let's get her shield, step one. Just use my W. There we go. This seems really difficult to uh, do anything on. Like, you could maybe try to steal, but there's no way we can fight. Nice. I think stealing is okay. One auto attack on that guy, no. I was hoping Jin would get that last auto onto the pike, but he wasn't able to. This is fine. We can still win this fight if I just land my ultimate on him. And then I'll just knock him into the wall. I'm trying to save my Jin because he, as you can see, he almost died. So I put him next to the wall so I could immediately E. Sedge didn't die, but who cares, right? We got the Rift Herald. Trundle did a good job at completing it. And uh, our bot lane that was losing, they were like, I think two and five is now five and five. And Ash is now... Uh, not as fed as she previously was, so. I am creating, or trying to create opportunities for my team, right? Tank kits are super good at influencing your other champions. 
Of course, I'm okay my, on my own too, but I definitely am much better just playing for my team. I'm probably not going to be able to get to that very... Oh, wait. Maybe I can get to that quickly. Do I need to get it to it quickly? Let's just TP mid, actually. Yeah, that guy already died, too. Nice. Oh, this doesn't seem like a very fightable fight. Let's just do the dragon, please. We're gonna lose top for it, so... I sacrificed my top turret to do this dragon. There's... It's... Maybe a chance that they would do... Like, still confess, I guess. I was gonna say Pike was dead, but his death timer was so damn short that he's back alive. No. It's gone. We get it. Man, I'm gonna have to walk into everybody here, and I just use my E so I can't get over... Okay, cool. They just backed away, and that's sick. This seems difficult for me to... Oh, wait. I mean, unless Rise, for some reason, gets stunned. No, it doesn't land. He got the thing too fast. That's okay, though. <coughs> if a play doesn't work, we just should back away. Although, Jin's just dead, I think. This is not a fight we want to continue taking. We don't have consistent damage anymore. Jin is our consistent damage dealer. I'm just throwing rocks at them. Oh god, I'm gonna get hit again. I think I'm okay though. Throwing a rock. Kassin jumped in when he shouldn't have, but he might survive. No. He shouldn't have jumped in, man. That was bad. That guy dies. Ashes has to hit two different tanky people here. It's really hard for her to play. Oh, they're just gonna get out. Freaking Rizal. Dude, Nami's just playing with me. It's sick. <laughs> it's so nice. Wow, that actually landed? That is so lucky. I did not think that was gonna hit. All right, cool. So everything is shoved out pretty damn well. I can probably go for, I think Merc Treads. They have a lot of crowd control, a lot of stuns, some magic damage. And then the next item will be, uh, I don't know. I guess maybe a Jack Show. Jack Show increases my resistances in extended team fights, and team fights have been kind of long. I wouldn't be able to defend it if they are on it. They probably aren't. Ryze is quite strong. He has a two core, just like me. So we're pretty even. I threw the rock at him. I buffered it. This guy might not have his ultimate yet. So if he doesn't, he should just die. And then after this guy dies, we should just do Baron. Let's clear it. So Juani will try to steal. I have a big amount of CC in my kit. I don't know why I use my uh, E there. That's pretty bad. Uh, so I want to try to stop her from trying to steal it. Okay, and she's not even here. So I'll just leave. Can we fight this? No. 
Nobody else was uh, rotating besides Jin. Probably wouldn't have worked. But I did get Ash Ghost, and that's a really important CD for her. It's very difficult for her to kite when she doesn't have that, so... I'm waiting for Pike to hook me before I use my E. This doesn't really matter. Ulting here? Oh, I would have gotten a three-man ult if uh, she didn't flash away. I did slow him. Did he land uh, your W? Slowing him again? The phase rush might be too much. Will you go top lane and think that I didn't continue chasing? No. Nah. Oh, he died though. Cool. <sighs> Shove this out. They're gonna try to contest rather than stop me. Uh, Yasuo is coming. They don't really have that much armor, huh? Probably just dead. But I took so much from your base, I don't really care if I die. I tried to E through this wall to get out, but clearly didn't work. We got the dragon. I took top turret. I lost one bounty, but we got, we got way more than them. So, I'm okay with that death. I probably should build a Thorn Mail. I think Thorn Mail would be pretty good against their double Bork. They, they will damage themselves pretty significantly if I build that. In fact, I could probably build it like... Oh, I'm so close. Holy crap, if I sell my Null Magic, I can get it now. That honestly might be worth. I know that selling items normally isn't that good, but having a full completed item... It, it only takes, like, one more team fight for us to end the game. And we also have level 16 cast pretty soon, so I, I just want the game to be over now. We have Grievous. We probably beat Yas with 1v1. I doubt he should be able to beat me with my uh, current build. I'll try to get side lane pressure. Yeah, I mean, Kasten's also really, really fed. Oh, he might be dead. There's an ash on him. Well, I pushed out top wave. I was just gonna... I'm on the way to this fight. It's gonna take... This fight doesn't seem very good. Aww. I honestly did not expect him to land that, so I was ulting because I I didn't trust him, I guess. Nice. I need to defend my team. I'm gonna knock another wall. Wait, what? Wait, what? What has happened? He's probably dead. I slowed him. I see even burned his flash. He wasted it. Cast him will just kill everybody, right? Oh wait, cast him messed up. If he got stunned underneath turret, he might have been able to uh die. Thankfully the enemy team didn't do that. He had full stack sedge things on him. You're really gonna ulti me? Yeah, I'll flash shit, man. I didn't want to flash, but these guys are really making it difficult for me to play the game, huh? I'll I'll be your frontline, bro. Cast him, trying to set up if you can land anything. Maybe I could have brought him straight to cast it immediately. I stalled as much as I could. There is no way I could do more. I was tanking both the Yasuo and the Ash both. 
That was really difficult for me to get out of. If only Kasten could land his R over this thick wall. Alright, maybe Jack Show now? The fights are super extended, so... This will give us 30% more armor and magic resist, which we have quite a bit of it during the fights. This make us even tankier. Eleven seconds on Baron. Okay. There's no way that they're doing it. Sejuani just went somewhere else, so they can't be on it. Top wave is gigantic, so I'm just gonna go take that. Yeah, so is also gonna be up here. Maybe a pike as well. Knock him into the wall, and you're just dead. Most of my teammates are topside, and his aren't, so... I mean, he was just playing so aggressive and stuff, which is awesome for him, but... Uh, I'm not gonna play a 1v1 fair fight. I'm gonna just wait till my teammates arrive. I guess he can, uh, can beat me. Yeah, so it does have Shred in his kit. His ultimate gives him 50% bonus armor Shred, meaning that people who have a lot of armor, I lose 50% of it. So. Okay, cool. Hextech Dragon is done. Kassadin should just be able to kill Ash on repeat. The chances of the enemy team winning right now are super slim just because of our champion picks. We'll see if they can get a, a crazy pick off. They need to like pick Kassadin and kill him without losing a single member of their team. And then 5v5 us, or 4v5 us. But the chances of us even taking that 4v5 and not just waiting for Kassadin to respawn are so slim. I guess they could try to kill me, but then they'll lose a lot of their base. So if I push top here, like, they might send everybody, right? But then I'll just try to leave. And now they're just wasting their time because my team's just taking their shit. I'm just trying to waste their time again, by the way, so... We just automatically win. I'll just leave. See ya. I know you guys are all here, but I'm just stalling time. My team's literally ending. <laughs> you guys got me. GG. <laughs> so, yep. Yeah, Skarner top. Pretty damn uh, easy pick still. Doesn't matter. Even if I'm playing versus a counter matchup, there is opportunities to uh, solo kill the matchups that... It feels like a counter matchup. I bet if I look up Skarner versus Rise... Okay, it's actually Skarner... Fa oh, wait, no, that's Skarner mid. It's about 50%, which I, is actually pretty good because Skarner kind of wins versus everybody, so... So, yeah. Uh, did second most damage, which is incredible. I'm playing a literal tank. And Jin was doing good, too, near the end. So, we are one win away from getting to uh, Diamond 3. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next commentary. Peace out, bye.